just a girl in the world. Just a girl. Just a girl. I'm just a girl in the world. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your turn, Brianna. If you are new, please subscribe and like this video. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Okay, we are currently on a road to 70,000 subscribers, and I'm so so proud of the little community. It ain't little no more, it's big. What you talking about? The big community that I have created on this platform. I thank you so much for tuning into all my videos and just communicating with me and supporting me. I love y'all. I love y'all. We for lifers, okay? So in today's video, I actually did for the very first time my own sewing. What? Like I did a closure sewing by myself. No help. I really like sewed it in. No, no quick weave. So I'm proud of myself. As you can see, it came out real cute. I did some wall curls and a little fish braid. So yeah, if you want to see how I installed it, how I bleached the knots. <sighs> grow the hair and the products and everything that i use continue to watch if you want to purchase anything that i used in today's video make sure to read the description box i put everything there and since y'all lazy and i know half y'all ain't gonna read it <laughs> i'm also gonna put everything in the comment section okay so let's jump right into today's tutorial <music> Everybody wanna say shit I don't care what they say about us now mm. yeah. I don't wanna have no conversation They just wanna fuck it all up now yeah. You guys, we're about to get into my braid down But I look so stinking professional because it's like <laughs> 2 45 on a friday nothing is happening at my job so i thought why not go ahead and start my braid down process i don't have no meetings i did all my work and starting monday i'll be on pto um we are about to get into a little braid down okay Okay, y'all, so y'all know this is the first time that I've ever done a sewing on myself. So I'm going to show y'all all the products that I use. And if you guys have any tips for me, comment them down below. First off, my tip for you is getting these sheer ass caps from Amazon. The link will be in my description box. I absolutely love them, okay? They're a little small, so if you got a big head, keep that in mind. But I love how sheer they are. They'll have the start of your install being super duper flat. So, because this is my first time, I didn't want to mess myself up. So, I went ahead and took a, a eyeliner or lip liner and I actually marked out where my lace should lay. Um, and then I went ahead and sewed down my cap. Now, I wanted to tint my lace with this mousse. It was my first time trying it. I liked it. I just think I'll get a lighter color because the finish was a little orange. As you can see, I'm like a little skeptical here. Like, is this my shade or nah? But I do love how well it tinted the lace. So yeah, you can find this tint mousse in my bio as well. Not my bio, in the description box in the comment section. Just in case you don't feel like reading the description. But did you see how well it tinted the lace? Like it actually colored it really, really well. I'm going to stick to using makeup on my cap just because that's my go-to. And I was sick because I realized that I ran out of got to be spray. But I was like, I ain't going to the store looking like this. Like... No ma'am, no ham, no turkey, and it was the middle of the day, like nah. So I went ahead and sprayed down some Tresemme, and I topped it with some spritz, blow dried it, and it actually held up pretty well. Um, Not as good as got to be free spray. Y'all know that's the GOAT. 
Um, and I heard that Kiss has a spray as well that's in Walmart that I want to try. It's in a blue and gray bottle. But if y'all got any other product recommendations, please let me know because I'm still learning. So yeah, after I got my cap melted down, I went ahead and cut off the excess because I don't need that. I actually really wanted my braids to be exposed so I can oil my scalp every night. And then I went ahead and sewed down my closure. I had to do that off camera, baby. I'm sorry because I didn't want to mess myself up. And then y'all know, y'all know how to lay down some lace at this point. I will say I don't like ghost bond glue though. Unfortunately, my um beauty supply, they have no boho active and I love that glue. Now these bundles, let's talk about it. Those linked in the, in the comment section below too, just in case you want them. Baby, they came double weft. All like that long piece of hair I showed you was one full bundle. I didn't know that. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I love the thickness of the hair, but I feel like my my um my install could have been flatter towards the top of my head if it was single weft because I don't never double weft at the top of my head. You feel me? So that kind of threw me off, but I did appreciate how thick the hair was and it did allow me to get through this process quicker. But yeah, any products y'all need, check the comment section. I don't want that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Yeah. Make the spray fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal. On the okay, so I know I look crazy, but it's really giving um trust the process. And basically, when it comes to hair and me, you should always trust the process, but you should never doubt me because I always pull it together some way, somehow, okay? This hair shit's so freaking much, but I take um everything back that I said earlier that was bad about the hair I take it back because I actually like the hair I really really like the hair I just needed to stop shining um so basically I think I've come to the conclusion that I got a small head because every time people like people always say oh I put in four bundles in my head huh y'all still got hair left over and it's just gonna be left out or maybe I'll add it in at another time because I don't even feel nowhere where I could add it at. I already went back and added hair in some gaps because one thing about me, I would hate to get to the top of my head and run out of hair. So I always like make sure I'm spreading it out well and then, you know what I'm saying, I'll go back and whatnot. But uh, like I said, we're going to have to do that at another time because I'm tired, y'all. I feel like I'm doing braids. Like... This is my first time doing a sew-in on myself, and I have to say, I think I did a really good job, but it's taking just as long as I take to do braids. I started this around like 3, and it's currently 9.07. I did take braids. I went 8 and all that good stuff, but come on, baby, let's be real. So now, moment of truth, I need to cut this lace off, add some spritz, and retie it. And then while that's drying, I'm going to go in with my hot comb and flatten out this hair. I love how poofy it is. I'm going to curl it, and I think it's really going to hold a curl based off how poofy it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this lace. And I know I over bleached my knots. It's like I had to over bleach my knots in order to get them bleached. Because like they, were, they went from straight black to the hair is turning different colors so it's a, it's a very thin line between not getting your knots bleached enough and over bleaching the hair but it's okay i'm gonna fix that at the very very end so not too much on me not too much okay and if i'm not on the camera i'm sorry i have to see like i can't mess myself up because i'm trying to film for y'all but y'all tell me why i'm doing my hair and i don't get a knock at my door i get a pull at my doorknob i know what it sounds like when someone pulls my doorknob because my door kind of like jolts. Um, if it's locked, it's gonna jolt. It's not gonna jolt open, but I know the sound, right? I know the sound that it makes. So I'm sitting right here in my in my bathroom, and my bathroom is close to my front door. So when I tell you my 
my like fright fright means meaning like scary or like scared or fight senses be on point i know some people call it fight or flight like you're taking off because it's either like you get scared or you run i don't get scared or run i'm ready to fight and see what the fuck is tea sorry i'm not trying to curse i'm i'm trying to see what's good what's tea what's popping who's there and why y'all i jumped up in like a millisecond i'm like the hell because what it, who's at my door and not just knocking but like who got the nerve to be pulling at my doorknob like they live here so i look through my people and it's this man standing right here and he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry wrong door wrong door i'm like yeah you got the wrong effing door like but i'm confused as to how you didn't even knock you just grabbed the door handle like what are you on? What you can't be saying? Bad for an hour. <laughs> well, I'm to the club tonight. Still don't know what I'm wearing, but we're going to figure it out. It's going to be so cute. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. okay with the lace in itself like i think it's melting pretty nicely i just need to get my um my roots together and honest to god if you think this is ghetto your mom's a hoe but <laughs> i like to use um mascara when i over bleach my knots what i used to do is get a spoon and get some black dye and um touch it up too but Sometimes the black dye will like get on my hands throughout the process and it's dye, so it's like uh a little more frustrating than just some mascara. So that's my quick fix. I'm scared of the spray. I've never tried that before. I don't even own that if I wanted to try that. But yeah, I don't just use the spoolie of my mascara though. I brush it on a different spoolie so yeah get you one of them disposable spoolies and just brush it against the mascara brush like that until you have some product on it um and you want to lightly touch it i need a mirror though i need to see what i'm doing i'll be trying to show y'all and i ain't trying to mess myself up just lightly touch at the root but don't touch your part and just fill it in and i swear it works <laughs> this over bleaching my knots though made me realize that i want to do like a chocolate brown color i've never done that before i think that would look so cute especially since we're going into the fall by the time y'all see this video we're probably in fall to be honest um i think that would be so fly like i just think it would be so cute when it comes to the top make sure you don't touch the hair you just did but i picked the hair up because i don't want to touch the lace and i just lightly stroke at the hairs okay much better right much freaking better so i'm gonna go ahead and take the trustmate this trustmate has been saving my life because i really forgot that i didn't have no gasoline Just lightly spray it because I don't like hard hair at the top of my head. I don't like hard hair in general. Um, and then use the cool setting. This is another thing that's ghetto. I got to put layers on my hair with these badass scissors because I misplaced my, um, I misplaced my hair shears. I don't know where they are. I don't even know where they could be, friend. But layers are important, so we gotta uh, make do. And then if you don't remember to do one thing, 
give yourself like a little blunt trim. It makes all the difference. Mm. Yes, it automatically makes the hair just look so much healthier. So, <laughs> pulling the hair forward. This is the length. It looks super cute. Super, super cute. Nice and full. Um, this, I ended up putting more of the hair in the back of my head somewhere. This is how much hair I have left out of three bundles and a closure. I think the closure is a regular full by four. Um, and this is loose deep wave. I like the hair. It just shares a lot, but I like the hair. I love the texture. This texture is hella pretty. Like, I would leave it like this. Um, when you brush it out, it gets super loose, of course. It's a loose deep wave. It's going to do that. But um, this hair was also $125, so we have to keep that in mind. But this is what the back looks like. Okay. Get into the movement. I know that's right. $125? The link is in the description. The link is in the comment section, okay? Because y'all, y'all don't like to click on the description. It's already coming in the comments. And let's get into my flat sewing that I did on myself for the very first time ever. I think I did a great job. I don't know, y'all. I'm a little beat. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the curling process tomorrow. Because I'm tired. I'm tired. I hope y'all enjoyed the video so far, though. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. And I will see you tomorrow morning when I'm all beat and pretty and ready to curl this hair. Don't got no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curve. Yeah. Make this spread fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Give me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the floor and I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't want that, they working my nerves. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Yeah. Smack from the back of a perm. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Shit, you know, all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own life, we can merge. Yeah. So, no hands you can learn. Yeah. Let's see how much you can earn. Yeah. Why me go put like the word? Yeah. And I ain't smoking no shirt. Yeah. I'm with it, baby, P. Litty. Keep peace. Keep peace. Yeah. I love my bitches, it's pretty, they showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling. Yeah. I let them run through a million, I rock with a really, let's fuck on the bed. Yeah. I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. Yeah. It's a see one of fulfilling. Yeah. Smoke out the pound when I'm chilling. Yeah. Trapping, I make me a killer. Yeah. Look, I got everybody wishing. Yeah. I hope you play your position. Yeah. I don't want nobody listening. Yeah. I see them whole with precision. Yeah. Give us my only decision. <laughs> Clearly, I just finished up with my hair. I don't know what possessed me to try to add this little fishtail braid, but it actually came out super cute if I do say so myself. Like, it's a little, mm, it gives us a little pizzazz. Um, this hair does hold a curl, but it just shaves entirely too much. Like, I'm literally about to have to sweep and mop and fucking vacuum my floors and my bathroom right now because hair is everywhere. Um, and... I cut the ends and the ends still look a little straggly. I don't know what that's about. But overall, this silk press was a 10 out of 10 success if I do say so myself. Um, the install laid is nice and flat. It looks super natural, but it's also super full. It's going to last me like three to four weeks and then you can just make mess it up i'm gonna make sure that i oil my scalp every night when i go to sleep i'm just gonna sleep with my um band around my lace with a scarf and a bonnet and yeah so that covers everything that you need in terms of like maintenance to keep it up um and when i'm tired of it i'm gonna take it out and put it back in or you know just switch out the closure if the closure starts to look eh. you know but yeah I did that. This is my first time, y'all. Like, that's that's why I say, like, you can do everything yourself. As long as you practice and you teach yourself, you're good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like. Comment down below what you want to see from me next. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.